What's up guys, you're watching Dan's How To Videos and we are continuing the How To series on the iPhone 5. So as always, if you missed any of these videos, the link is in the description. Check them out and learn how to use your iPhone. Today's video is all about the notification center. I'm gonna show you guys how to properly use it, edit some of the features, and how to access everything through the notification center. So let's go ahead and get started. Now accessing your notification center is as simple as swiping down. So you swipe down from the top to the bottom and it'll open up your notification center. Now as you can see, mine has the weather app, the Twitter tap to tweet, and I have my stocks going on at the top. The next section is Twitter notifications and then app notifications. And you can set these all up in the settings and we'll get into that in just a second. To get out of the notification center, all you need to do is swipe up and it'll take you back to wherever you were. Now you can access this, the notification center pretty much anywhere on your iPhone. If you're in an app or anything, you can just swipe down and it'll take you back, swipe up and get out of it. Now in your settings tab here, we're on the main page, you want to go down to notifications and it's right here. If you click that, you'll be able to set up everything you want to see in your notification center. So as you can see, I've got quite a few things here that I'm going to be notified about and most apps when you download them and install them, they'll give you options to actually have them notify you in the notification center and you can click yes or no. Now, this is what I got going on here. I've got my weather widget. As you saw, if I swipe down, you can see the weather at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off just to show you what happens here. So we've turned it off. I'm going to swipe down. You now see there's no weather widget at the top. Let's go back to my settings here and we'll go ahead and turn the weather widget back on. and. You can see I've got quite a few widgets here that are going to notify me about different things. Now, what you can do in this section as well as let's go into my phone setting here, you can set up how these are going to show up. So you can have them set up as alerts, so they'll pop up right in the middle and alert you with a little beep, or you can have them pop up at the top of your notification. So if you're in an app or playing a game, it's going to pop up at the top and tell you, okay, you have a missed call, you have a... Uh, miss call from somebody or you have a voicemail or something it's just going to pop up at the top it's not going to disrupt you it's not going to take over the game or pause it or pause your music or anything it's just going to pop up give you a quick notification and you can continue on with what you're doing you can also set up the badge app icon you can turn it off have it on you can change the ringtone you can view it in the lock screen or not and this is just personal preference on what you want to do with it you can have it show the five recent items all the way up to ten or just the first one recent item so it's pretty simple in that sense that you can do that with any one of the apps here now if you want to add an app to your notification center you can see if you scroll down it says not in notification center so let's go ahead and add one to the notification center here so I'll be notified when things happen. I'll just show you quickly. We'll go to this Shopwise app. It's got none right now. We'll go ahead and set it to banner. We'll turn it on for notifications. It's going to show me the five most recent items. Batch app icon. We'll go ahead and turn that on because I usually like to see that and I want to see a sound as well. And uh, as for viewing it in the lock screen, I don't really care right now. So we'll just leave it at that. Now if we go back to my weather widget here, as you can see, because I re-added it and it's now at the bottom, it's not going to show up at the top, and I usually check that quite frequently. So if I want to uh, look at my weather, it's now at the bottom. So to move this, all you need to do is click on the edit tab at the top, and you can align all your apps so that the notifications you use mostly will show up more often or show up at the top to bottom rather than at the bottom. So you go ahead, you hit the edit button, and then you hold on at the side here. Now you can move this and you can take it back to where it belongs or where you want it to show up. Now it's going to go ahead and move it to the top here, right there. We'll go ahead and click done. And when we scroll down, you can see my weather widget is back at the top. So that's pretty much it. And to clear items on your notification center, as this one here, it's a Twitter tweet. And I've got my Gangnam Style Massacre giving me updates. Let's go ahead. We'll clear it. You can see there's a little X there. Let's go ahead. You can see the X down here. I'm going to clear that one too. So we'll tap that. And now it says clear. Now what you do is you tap the clear button. It'll clear it. Again, the X and clear. The X and clear. Keep things nice and clean here. And if you want to go into any of these apps, if you have them like set up like this, like if I want to go into my stock app, you just tap it and it'll open up the native stock app. If you go back to the notification center, you can do the same thing with your weather app. And it'll basically show you everything you want 
to put into your notification center. Now, if you want to set up some do not disturbs within your notification center, you can do that as well. That's just another setting here, and it's very simple, scheduled, allow calls from, and you can pick certain uh, one's favorites or uh, no one or everyone. And again, you can put repeated calls. It's gonna say, uh, when enabled, a second call from the same person within three minutes will not be silenced. So it's just up to you if you wanna turn that on. But that's pretty much it for Notification Center. If you have any questions about this, leave it in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe up top, comment down below, and I will see you in the next one.